Borderlands 3 is right around the corner, and everyone, including myself, is extremely excited to play it. But not just us. The amazing new trailers and gameplay have also managed to gather a lot of new fanbase who want to experience this brand new, amazing looter shooter. But this is the fifth game of the series, if you include Tales of the Borderlands by Telltale Games. As such, it's an extremely daunting task to go through each and every one of the games just to get up to speed with the upcoming game, right? Well, don't worry. That's why I have decided to make this video on everything that has happened in the story of the Borderlands so far. So you ready? Let's begin. Millions of years ago, the universe was inhabited by an advanced race called the Iridians, who ruled the universe using their advanced technology and weapons. But after a series of events, they went extinct. But just before their destruction, they stored all of their technologies and weapons in various vaults hidden all around the universe and had guardians placed alongside them for their protection. Fast forward millions of years, a giant corporation, Dal, settles on the planet Pandora which is a barren wasteland filled with hostile life forms in search of alien technology. The head researcher, Patricia Tannis, finds out that Pandora holds a vault with Iridian technology, but it only opens after 200 years and it needs a key, a vault key, which unfortunately has been fragmented into three pieces and are all under bandit control. While Dal was busy with researching, Atlas, another giant corporation, sends its elite military unit the Crimson Guard, under the leadership of Commandant Steel, to capture Tennis and extract the information regarding the war. But before she was able to do this, Tennis broadcasts all her research and the information regarding the walls to everyone in the universe, which obviously attract vault hunters to Pandora. Dell, sensing imminent doom, backs out of Pandora and settles on the planet's moon, Alpis, and resumes mining and researching. Sometime later, a team of Vault Hunters, Roland, Mordecai, Brick and Lilith arrive to Pandora, where they are contacted and helped by a mysterious guardian angel who leads them to eventually find the first Vault Key fragment. Patricia Tennis then contacts them shortly afterwards and enlists their help in finding all the key fragments, which they eventually successfully do, only for Commander Steel to steal the key fragments and open the Vault door herself, believing that the Vault holds nothing but treasure. Well, she couldn't be more wrong, as a huge monster called the Destroyer emerges from the Vault and kills her, and then proceeds to wreak havoc on the planet. But the Vault Hunters manage to beat and push back the beast, who is then shut off into the Vault for the next 200 years. Afterwards, the Vault Hunters team up with ex-Lance officer Athena and manage to kill General Knox and successfully drive the Crimson Lance from Pandora for good. While all of this was happening on Pandora, Dal was secretly mining the planet's moon Elpis and managed to find another vault hidden deep below. But in the process, nearly destroyed the surface of the moon, causing destruction referred to as the Kraken. Seeing the destruction, the head of the Dal forces Connor Zapodon and her forces vow to protect vaults from ever opening again and form the Lost Legion. A few years later, another mega corporation, Hyperion, seeks to restart the operations to mine a mineral called Iridium on both Pandora and Alpis. But they are shortly attacked by the Lost Legion, who wish to protect the walls hidden on Alpis from the hands of the Hyperion. They attack and capture the Hyperion station Helios, which orbits Pandora. On board the ship, Jack, who oversees Helios, sends out a distress signal, which is answered by a group of mercenaries including Athena, Wilhelm, Nisha, and Claptrap. Oh, Claptrap is a series of machines made by the Hyperion, but more on that later. The mercenaries are then asked by Jack to destroy a jamming signal on the surface of Elpis, which is disrupting their communication and in the process save the world. Preceding a fight with General Zapodon, the mercenaries are driven off Helios and are forced to crash land on the surface of Elpis, where they meet up with Janie Springs, who help them get to the city of Concordia. The group locates the jamming signals, which turns out is being run by one of the Hyperion ex-employees and the mayor of Concordia, Merif. Jack turns up and kills the treacherous bastard and then proceeds to enlist the help of Roland, 
Lilith and Moxie, ex Vault Hunters and the like, and formulates a plan to recapture Helios. The group heads to an old factory where they start assembling a robot army by forcing a pretty peace loving AI called Felicity, which raises concerns in Roland, Lilith, and Moxie. The group then travels to Helios and manage to defeat the Lost Legion and recapture the station. Colonel Zarpadon warns Jack about the vault and what would happen if it was open, but since that all sounds boring, Jack straight up kills her. Seeing the lust of power in Jack, Roland, Lilith, and Moxie turn against Jack and destroy the Eye of Helios, an extremely powerful cannon made from the Eye of the Destroyer. This angers Jack, who vows revenge on Roland, Lilith, and Moxie. He sends the group to Elpis to find and open the vault. The group managed to do so after defeating the guardian monster that was defending the vault. Jack enters the vault and finds this symbol floating in the air. And after touching the symbol, he sees visions of the future and many other vaults hidden throughout the universe. But as he is watching the visions, Lilith shows up and punches Jack straight in the face right through the symbol, permanently scarring his otherwise handsome face. Lilith escapes and Jack right then and there vowed revenge on all Vault Hunters. And Athena, sensing that Jack was no longer the hero who once hired her, leaves. Jack adopts the identity of Handsome Jack with a mask covering his scarred face. And with the company of Hyperion in his control, he begins seeking out the walls on Pandora. During this, he also scraps all the Claptrap units after they initiate an uprising against Jack, leaving only one single Claptrap unit on Pandora. Jack then sends out messages drawing new Vault Hunters to Pandora and then systematically killing them all. A Vault Hunter team comprised of Axton, Maya, Salvador and Zero arrive on Pandora drawn by Jack's messages only for them to be ambushed by Handsome Jack and their train completely destroyed. Fortunately, they are rescued by the last remaining Claptrap unit and he combined with Angel, yes the same guardian angel from the original Borderlands, guide this group to Sir Hammerlock who in turn asks them to meet up with Lilith and Roland who are now the leaders of a group called the Crimson Raiders who are fighting against Jack and the Hyperion at the city of Sanctuary. There they learn that a new key has been found and is being transported by a train to Handsome Jack. But this information turns out to be false as Jack already has the key and they are forced to kill a now fully mechanized Vault Hunter. Wilhelm. After defeating Wilhelm, Angel asks the Vault Hunters to use Wilhelm's power core to strengthen the city's defenses. But this turns out to be another trap as it is revealed that Angel was working under the Hyperion all along. With Sanctuary's defenses down, Handsome Jack bombarded the city only for Lilith, the Siren, to use her powers to transport the city to another side of the planet. They are shortly contacted by Angel again who begs their forgiveness and reveals that she is the daughter of Jack and a siren. She also revealed that Jack was siphoning her powers to power up the key and open the wall. She begs them to come rescue her but afterwards simply asks them to put her out of her misery. The team led by Lilith, Roland and the Vault Hunters managed to do so only for Jack to appear, kill Roland and capture Lilith who he revealed he was going to use as a replacement for Angel. The Vault Hunters pursue Jack but are too late as the vault is already open. They fight and kill the Guardian who emerges from the vault and save Lilith. Then they find the badly injured Jack and proceed to kill her. Lilith, wanting to destroy the vault key, accidentally activates a map showing the locations of more vaults hidden across the universe. Woo! That was it guys. The complete story of Borderlands so far. What did you think? What was your most favorite part of the story? Be sure to leave it down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, be sure to share, like and subscribe. I try to upload content like this every single day of the week. And the best way to see it first is of course by subscribing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Get hyped, go loot and make some mayhem. Peace.